a how to prepare um, garden egg stew or also known as Nyadoa for you. I have my eggplants. This is not the real Nyadoa. This is just eggplants that I used and I'm boiling it on the fire with my pepper. There's no onions. I didn't put no onions in here because I'm going to grind that one raw. So while the um, garden eggs boil, I will grind my um, onions and I have one that I'm going to fry with the tomatoes. I'm not going to actually eat it in the earthenware bowl. You can do it like that. I mean, you can grind everything and then pour the palm oil on it, but I like it fried. So I'm gonna put in everything here after the garden eggs are done and I'm gonna like grind all together. I um, grinded the onions and now I'm adding my bonnet pepper. I have three of those because I, I want my food extra spicy and I don't know why I always eat it like that. You are gonna keep the um, garden eggs on the fire for about five minutes. It's really like soft so you don't really need to like overcook it. Then it's done, you just grind all together that I'll show you in a few. Okay, so this is how it should be looking like after you have everything together. I added a little bit salt. If you're gonna use salted fish, then you do not have to add it at this stage. I am not gonna use salted fish. I prefer using geisha because I'm gonna fry it. I'm like not gonna like eat it in the ethan more bowl. So I prefer to use the the geisha. So after this, you can use um. We, in my language it's called mamane. You can use mamane or you can use salted fish. Either one is fine with the palm oil. So now we have the palm oil. You do not really need much. This is all you need. Um, and this is my garden eggs, onion, and a pepper that I grinded together. And this is my two tomatoes that I cut. You do not really need like small cut it into like small pieces you need it like a little bit bigger because you're gonna like fry it and it's gonna shrink and this is my onions in all I used about one and a half onions and then two tomatoes and then one big garden egg I mean they call it eggplant here and there so and this is my shrimps this is shrimp powder it's very nice when added and I have my one stock cube and then my geisha so you first add the um, onions. Yeah. And keep it on for just like fry it for like a minute or two. And then you add the tomato. You want it to eat it like raw at this stage. After you have grounded your pepper and your onions, you just like if you have like um a salted fish. You fry it together with the oil and the onions and you just pour it onto the everything in the ethanol bowl and you mix it together and it's ready. I do not want it that way. I actually do. I ate that same thing yesterday, but I want to like keep it for long. So after it's like, you do not need to like make it golden brown or anything. Just fry for a little bit and you add your tomatoes. I put in the garden eggs after I let the tomatoes and the onions fry for a little while I mean you can add your spices and everything before you add the garden eggs but this is my way of doing it everything's already been boiled you do not really have to put it on for long you now add like I'm gonna add my Maggie cube and then I'm gonna add the geisha this is a small one by the way guys I did not use a really big one. Oh my god, it's bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, and then you add your shrimp. I'm just gonna use two spoons. You do not really have to add this. It's just what I like. I like shrimp so much. I have to put it in everything, guys. You do not have to add it. Yeah. And then you stir everything together and leave it on the fire for like a minute and then it's done. This is how the finished food looks like. You can eat it with plantain, yam, rice, whatever that's up to you. Thank you for watching and staying with me. You can make this and tell me how it tastes like. Subscribe and ask me whatever you want me to make. Thank you. Bye.